the bank was robbed. You're the detective, and in working with the witness, you've narrowed it down to 10,000 possible license plates in the getaway car. And the suspect gave you two key pieces of information. The second letter was an R, and the third from the last letter was an E. How are you going to find the license plate of the getaway car? By the end of this video, you'll have learned enough about regular expressions to be able to solve this mystery. Hey, hey, welcome. If this is your first time on the channel, I'm Chris Jordan. I'm a professor who teaches computer science. And in this video series, we're gonna be looking at regular expressions. Regular expressions have many real world uses, like searching for textual patterns or verifying that you entered some input in the correct format, like a phone number or a credit card. As a data scientist, a computer scientist, or a software engineer, regular expressions are available to you in your programming languages, your text editors, and at the command line. Regular expressions are one of the early results in computer science dating all the way back to the 50s. And what's awesome about them is that we still use them in many different applications today. We're gonna to focus on a modern syntax using real world examples that you can follow along with. All right, so let's jump right in. I wanna give you a quick demo of how regular expressions work, and then I'll show you how to set your machine up just like mine with VS Code and the text files we're using in today's video. I have opened a text file with 370,000 English words in it each on its own line. And to use regular expressions to search this, I'm gonna open up VS Code's find pane. And this should look familiar. If you've used find and replace in a word editor or a internet browser before. However, there's a special toggle we can enable that will turn regular expression support on, and that's the dot followed by the star. You'll learn what that symbol means later on in the series. So I'm going to click it, and the blue highlighting means it's enabled. So let's search for our first regular expression. I'm gonna type super, and you will notice that this works just like the regular find that you're used to. But if I press enter, you'll see that I'm moving to the next match, the next match, the next match. This regular expression demonstrates the first operator we'll learn of three fundamental operators, and then. So it's S, and then U, and then P, and then E, and then R. This should feel pretty familiar, right? No surprises here. So this is our first operator that is implicit, right? We don't have to say anything special between the S and the U. It just assumes that S is followed by a U. The rest of the operators we'll learn aren't implicit, and we'll see that shortly. Next, I wanna introduce our first special character in our regular expression syntax, which is the end of line character. The dollar symbol will say match the end of a line. So if I add the dollar symbol at the end of the previous regular expression we were using, it's the word super, and then the end of the line, we see that we're only gonna match words that end with the suffix of super. So you're probably wondering if we can match the end of a line, is there a special character we can use to match the beginning of a line? And yes, that's the caret. So if I say caret and then super, we see that we match words that begin with a prefix of super, of which there's many, many more than there are with a suffix of super. Regular expressions can be built up and we can combine these ideas by saying the start of a line and then super and then the end of a line. And this specifies a pattern that matches only one word, the word specifically super. The last special character I wanna to introduce to you is the any character, which is the dot. So if we say super and then any character and then end of line, we will match all of the words that have the begin with super, have one extra letter after that, and then it's the end of the line. So superb is matched. Superi, superl, whatever that is, supers. And we can keep building up these patterns. So I could say super and then any character and then any character and then any character and then ER and then the end of line. And we would match super duper. So now that you've got a first taste of how regular expressions work, let's set your machine up so that you can follow along with these examples and it should only take a minute. The software you'll need installed in order to follow along is Visual Studio Code. If you don't already have it, there's a link down in the description of the video for you to download it. It works on Windows and Mac and is a fantastic modern text editor for working in any programming language. Now that you have VS Code installed, I wanna set you up with the project files we're using to practice regular expressions. So if you go to the View menu and then the Command Palette, what we're trying to do is clone a Git repository. If you don't know what that means, it's totally fine, but this is a project I've set up for you in this video. After pressing enter, it asks you for a repository URL. This is the project and it's hosted on GitHub. You can find a link to this repository in the description. And when we press enter again, it's gonna ask us for where we want this 
project to be stored. If you wanna choose some other directory besides your home directory, you're free to, but I'm just gonna put it in my home directory. As soon as it's ready to be opened, we can click the open button, and now we are working in a project that has that English words file we were just looking at it, with 370,000 different English words in it. You just use a technology called Git to download a project from a website called GitHub onto your computer with these four files in it. Okay, now that you're all set up, you can hide your files pane by clicking the two files icon, go to the edit, and then find to bring up our search bar. Now remember, we need to enable regular expressions by clicking the dot and the asterisk in order to turn on the regular expression search mode. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the notes that we had from earlier, and I'd like you to try finding words that end in maze, M-A-Z-E, the suffix maze. So go ahead and pause the video here and see if you can write a regular expression that matches the textual pattern maze and then end of line. All right, great work. Hopefully you had something like M-A-Z-E and then the end of line symbol, which matches a line such as a maze or intermaze and so on and so forth. We started this video with a heist and a mystery that you can now solve knowing a little bit about regular expressions. In VS Code, I'll have you open the license plates.txt file. And remember, there were 10,000 license plates that the search had been narrowed down to. The witness gave us two key pieces of information. Each license plate is made up of seven numbers or letters. The second letter was an R. The third from the last letter was an E. Knowing those two pieces of information and what we've talked about with regular expression so far, see if you can find the matching plate. If you're able to figure it out, leave a thumbs up or a comment letting me know. I'm not gonna give away the solution here and please don't give away the solution in the comments. I want you to try this on your own. Great work, detective. In this video, you learn the first of three fundamental regular expression operators, the and then operator. You can have one regular expression and then another regular expression and the order matters. It's a sequence that we're setting up. Technically, this operator is called the concatenation operator. It's a word that's drawn from chemistry. When you have two molecules and you can combine them together, you're catenating them together. But I like to think of it as the and then operator, and it's one that you already know. Whenever you use control F in your web browser to find in the web page, you're using a simple regular expression that's just matching against those literal characters one after another after another, looking for that pattern in a web page text. The other two operators are going to give us the ability to have repetitions in our pattern. So we can say something repeats some number of times. And we'll look at that in the next video. The third operator allows you to set up an or pattern. So you can say A or B rather than what we saw today, which was A and then B. And we'll look at that in the following video. Today you also learn three special characters in regular expressions. There are way more of these than there are operators. And you can kind of add on to your knowledge of these as you move along and become more comfortable. They're a little bit less fundamental than the operators themselves. If you made it this far, I'm really impressed and I hope you'll join me in the next set of videos by subscribing to the channel. Until next time, great work.